Hey, right, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. You guys can see we got some news uh, already on Monday. Uh, FFBE, they dropped a video on their uh, YouTube page. And um, we just got a glimpse of uh, Sephiroth coming to the global version, which is super exciting. And today the news dropped into the game, so let's talk about it right now. So you guys can see we're going to have a new banner. It's going to be a step up banner which we're gonna explain a little bit. I'm pretty sure you guys already uh, saw a lot of videos where they explain what the step-up banner is. But let's talk about the characters right now. So, Mr. Sephiroth himself. Uh, chaining Master and also a finisher. So you guys can see right here. He has a lot of HP, also a lot of attack. Uh, Trust Master, Mass Immune, attack 150, uh, enables double hand and octo slash Sephiroth only. So you guys can see right here. That's going to be a Sephiroth only move, uh, almost like an Onion Sword, whenever you, whenever you equip it to uh, Onion Knight, it gets the uh, Onion Cutter. Uh, so that's that's a really, really, really strong katana right here. Then you have the featured abilities, Evans Light, deal partial, uh, partial unmitigated damage to one enemy. The Chosen, boost physical and magic damage against humans, monster, and boost attack when HP falls uh, below a certain point. If I'm not mistaken... This ability, he basically boosts himself by 150%, but when your HP is, I think, close to 1%, so I don't know how that works, but, you know, the chosen one, right here, is the chosen. Then he has a, also a reunion, fills own LB gauge, restore HP, MP, and add dark element to own physical attack. That's really good, guys, since his limit burst is really, really, really strong. When you max it out, it basically does 100% imperil to light and dark, um elements so that's that's really 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 strong and since he's able to change with mr orlando uh well there you go right there a hundred percent light in peril then you can dish out a lot of damage then we got the second five star that we get on the banner miss leela she's a monk you guys can see her attack stat is crazy crazy strong 468 uh her trust master is claws of darkness Attack 130, Spirit plus 30, and has Dark Element on it. Uh, the way her moves work, guys, the higher her Spirit is, uh, she's going to be able to dish out magic damage, but based on her Spirit. So the higher her Spirit is, the more damage she does, which is pretty crazy, if you ask me. Uh, she has her featured abilities, Open Eyes, Flash, Enable specific abilities to be used three times in one turn. Activate one time each regardless of equipment conditions. Um, let's take, uh, for example, the spear that uh, you can attack twice. It's a 52 spear. It's really old. Uh, basically, even though that it's supposed to attack twice, even when single wielding a weapon, she's not going to attack six times. So just, just to clear things out. Then she has martial arts. Heaven Shift, damage one enemy, martial arts, Tojin combo, damage one enemy, and power up with consecutive uses. Uh, guys, I know a lot of people are going to be pulling for Sephiroth, but this girl is going to be no joke also. So, if you get either one of both, you're in really, really good shape there. Uh, then we're going to move on to our new AoE magic cover tank. Uh, Silf, Shilf, Shilf, yeah, Shilf, Shilf. Yeah, Burial Mage. Uh, so he's a 4 star going to 6 star. You guys can see his defense is pretty high. Spirit's still pretty high at 193. Uh, his Trust Master, Spirit 25%, boost Spirit when equipped with a staff. Then he has the move that uh, Misty has. Uh, Tree Telia Wall, chance of taking magic damage for all allies when guarding. Reduction, reduce magic damage taken for 3 turns for 1 allies. That, that for one ally, sorry. Uh, that's not a bad move since he's able to maybe cast it on himself and he takes a lot less damage from all those magic moves. Then he has boost attack, defense, magic and spirit reduction, resistance and stop resistance for all allies. Uh, he's a really cool unit guys if you don't have Mystia. He's something different and he's another AoE magic cover tank which we really really need uh, since most bosses now are doing a lot of magic damage and you guys can see that they're really cool units. I love these units. They're actually really, really fun to play with. Then our three star going to five star. Uh, let's call her Timothy's friend, Mim. Uh, she's higher spirit. Uh, her trust master, Fairy's Crunchy. 
Defense 15, Spirit 15, and HP 20%. Boost Resistance to Confusion. It's actually a pretty good TM. I like that. The HP 20% is really, really good. Uh, then you have her featured abilities. Reduce SPR for one enemy. Revive one ally from being KO'd. And then you got Fairy Powder. Cure Poison, Blind Sleep, and Confusion for all allies. Uh, I don't think we're going to see much of her. But she's still there. You might get a lot of her. So you're going to get that TM a little bit faster. Oh, man. This guy right here. Can't wait to pull him. Then we got Nibolime, which is going to be a Minister Mog event. So you guys can see right here, it's going to start Friday morning. Uh, once you finish the beginner quest, you're going to get a summon ticket. Uh, intermediate, you get Edge Coins, which is going to be the currency for that event. Uh, advanced, you get 300. Pro, you get 500. Elite, you get an extra 500 Lapis, which is sick. And then Legendary, you get 5,000 Edge Coins. Uh, things that you're going to be able to get. Right here, you guys can see this Minister Mog, not the King Mog. Uh, Ring of Toughness, Defense and Spirit, plus 30, enables Metal, uh, Metal, Metal. Uh, chance of escaping death when HP is above a certain point. Not bad, it's actually good to put on your tank, since, uh, you know what, and if he's taking all that damage, he's able to maybe escape dying at one point from taking all this damage. And then we got the Guide's Clothes, uh, Attack 14, Defense 35 and Spirit 24. Boost Dark Resistance by 20% and females only. Uh, not a bad thing. Uh, let's say on Mystia, if you're fighting, we'll say a boss that does a lot of dark damage and magic. Well, you can slap this onto her. Uh, high defense, high spirit, which is really, really good. And you know what? You're going to get a lot of edge coins. Hopefully, and you're going to be able to get all of this goodies right here. Uh, then, uh, Golden Bomb and Yin and Na, uh, Yin Yang. Are going to be things that you're going to be able to fight to increase your bonus of edge coins and you guys can see right here demon killer is going to be good against the golden bomb and uh, man eater is going to be good against yin and yang kupo always the kupo character bonuses sephiroth and lila are going to be 100 percent bonus shield is going to be 75 and this uh i forgot her name mimi uh Mim mimi yeah i think it's mimi well we'll just call her mimi 50 percent up when you get the edge coins so you guys can see right here nebo lime is gonna be really really fun also this weekend we're gonna go right here fast 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 gill snapper caves so if you guys are lacking some gill one more time uh for the future ability awakening that we're gonna talk right now in a quick second uh you guys will be able to farm those cactuars for more gill to become a gillionaire then, uh, they're not talking about it right here, but you guys will see Sephiroth's arrival, so you guys can uh, buy the music if you want. Uh, we're gonna go back here, because I love this. This is this is beautiful. Mim, sorry, not Mimi. This is beautiful. So, things to talk about right real fast, that they talk about the video on Monday. Uh, Abilities Awakening for the month of May. We're gonna get uh, Mercenary Ramza, Knight Delita. You guys can't see, but I'm counting with my hands. Knight Delita, uh, Roberta is finally getting her ensments. Zyrus, which I'm, you know what, I, I always like that mage, so I can't wait to see what they have to bring for him. Zyrus, you're gonna have Oron, which is the guy with uh, like the art playing. Uh, Milia Duel, uh, Milia Duel, uh, the, um, I'm pretty sure you guys know which one it is. Uh, the girl with uh, the green cape with a sword and she's also able to cast three rays so i can't wait for her to see her things and we have the little mog with the spear that's getting his abilities awakened uh i don't know what he's gonna do but you know what it's ability awakening month Woo! i'm looking forward for cyrus uh maybe roberta i want to see what she brings to the table and i can't wait for them to maybe bring that change for the dragoons here on the global side where you're going to be able to cast their jump down ability to literally uh, chain finish. <laughs> Sorry. One more thing before we end this video. Uh, we get a new tri uh, Chamber of Arms boss, uh, Alina, which is uh, when you beat him, you're going to be able to get a 138 spear with Dragon Killer on it. And it's going to be called the Dragon Whisker. So finally, a new Chamber of Arms. They take a, they're, they're taking a little bit of time to release those. But you know what? I don't mind, man. With Sephiroth on the way, you know what? I can wait an extra 
10 months before they've been no, i'm kidding not 10 months but you know what it's it's good to that the month of may they're bringing a lot of new things uh refresh the game because it's been kind of a slow for the last month you know not too many bosses they were kind of easy uh just it's good that they bring something a little bit harder so we can try and build new strategies for uh, those bosses and everything guys sephiroth's coming in two days Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a like on this video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace!